to a great start. So are Foot, both dominating the early games. A good litmus test for who the stronger squad is this time around. I'm expecting a close series. I'm expecting all three. We can see here on this pistol round, the attack side of KC is under a bit of threat. They tried to take control on B. Maybe the other he is, and the rotation's coming in for the rest of the team. That wall's gonna go down at some point. There it is. There's a player behind him. It should be an easy kill. See, now turn though, and he's caught Magnum. Now he's caught in the open, attempting to make that pinch happen, and now the spike is down. It's another disaster for the attack. They tried to make something work. They thought they'd caught CNET in a corner, but and now it has to be a retake with weaker weapons. Some advantages maybe if they can force those close-range fights. But it looks like they're out in the open. Mr. Fallen's good for the first, but their numbers are quickly thinning out. Mr. Fallen shot in the back with no chance. And Cena, thought he dropped out of heaven to take the fight with the AWP. And we've already got the paranoia down, but flashes from Magnum still exist. Dizzy up top, there's a deep flash from Magnum, keeping these players trapped in, allowing individual fights to be taken. The KC are winning again and again. Yedishay and Mr. KC. You can see why they didn't take the op there. They need their guns for charging right down that site. And it's worked out very well. An almost unlosable post plant. Mr. Fallen does well to find the first. A snake bite a little deep. Oh no, it's not a little deep. In fact, Martin was hit by it, so he's easier taken down. But a 1v2. That chin eventually closes out. Okay, KC. <laughs> the definition of having that double flash is also going to be that little bit more difficult to deal with. Oh, they're ready. They're waiting for this push to come through. A wise play by the side of KC, and the reward is there. Paranoia, though, that's going to make it awkward. Tamazi so low, and there was nowhere to go. Pushed from every side. That's making great use of a low buy from the side of Foot. They've claimed a weapon, and CNET's claimed a kill. That plant might be undeniable, but if CNET could survive, oh, they'd have the numbers. Still. There. Stopping it from getting any real okay. value Monster now becomes the, <laughs> the opposing side as we oh, are going to see the TP. Nice idea from out of Captain, but not quite dealt with quick enough. The defuse is already happening halfway through. The it. spam is going to at least One drop it, but remaining. for now, Mr. Farlin needs this kill and he needs it immediately. Oh. He does manage to get it. I don't know if there's going to be enough time. I think he's just about got it over the line. Look, chopping up the site in a, a very different way. Spike plant planted. But Foot have positions all across the yeah. map. They're scattered. And the surprise <laughs> factor could catch them a couple of kills. Although they've lost Mr. Fallen, lost their way back through, out of captain, isolated Last and dealt with. Standing. And now it's it's impossible. As soon as Yedege falls, we realize Cracks 1v4 surrounded. Best chance was just to do damage. It's going to deny them a little bit of time. And actually, combined with a Mosh, it's allowed at least for an extra rotation to come in. Kill on Yedege. The number's thinning. Good fights for foot, left. as they now have to concede the site, though. But the TP coming through, this player's in spawn. They try to just hold the push, hold the angle. So it's one thing fighting through a pit, fighting through it from two different angles. It's only going to be even more difficult. You can see Cracks will try to get an angle, but his teammates already fallen to a shorty, and now his HP ever lower. It was only a matter of time as the decay. Literally the reason he lost. Doesn't need backup. No. Not this guy. But even still, 6-3, to three, looking good so far for KC. Cracks has been quiet, but he got off to a good start in this round. Again, though, Decipher in their last game was Sublime, and his Viper crazy. still looks to be on point. Shin trying to re-aggress. The pop flush is good, but even still, oh! Cracks finally has awoken. A third already in the round for him, a pop flash. He's looking for more. 8 HP, and he's still pushing forward. Has the support of Cena and one right. All right. I hope he's got a, a high sense. Catch this 364k. And the captain shuts it down before it even gets started. That knife is going to be, can or sorry, the knife will cancel out. The ult will cancel it out. But luckily, they've gone the right way. So the rocket's online, and it's caught out of captain. Ah, that's a good start. That will not only potentially get him an upgrade in terms of weaponry, but it's also taken so much space. The shot off gives up where Tom is. He's standing. Mr. Farland still holding strong, but will fall. What's in his hand? A shorty holding the close angle means his teammates inside Lambs don't have too much to worry about despite their low HP. Good shot as Yadage falls and denial of the diffuse with a gap in the wall used to push around and then the flank comes in eventually very clean. Difficult. They do have a little bit of extra utility though. Something to help them get those plants. KC want to get aggressive towards Lambs fighting on the corner. Two players already and stacked up. Good shots connected by Martin and then narrate swings. Building into what is the completely stacked up site. Four players waiting. Left. Contact held for Martin. And somehow Cracks actually done all right there. That looked like a moment where they might get the spike can't be planted in. 
Only 14 seconds left. The spams might not kill him off. He'll be able to survive at least a second longer, but it is left all onto Cracks. He doesn't even realize where they're coming from. Tomasi there to call. Been the best in the division is playing off those retakes. Double flash straight through. <laughs> Cena says, hey, you know what? I'm having none of it. And actually, Cracks has hit one with that Sheriff. Oh, maybe we spoke a little bit too soon. He's really looking to try and take this one into his own hands, but Shin has been able to trade him out. No weaponry to be retrieved, but also a lot of the angles still made awkward, still made possible for Cena to try and hold them back. And a captain up close with a classic. Always devastating. Mr. Farland's found another. This is starting to really fall apart. And the main issue now, Mitch, is that time, is that clock, as it all looks to fall apart again. It is the magic of this foot side. Holy dump on the way through Hookah. Tamazi the only one in danger, but he's got an easy enough bailout. Oh, never mind. And I said they didn't want to fight. Tamazi just goes swinging on that angle, finds one, repositions two, but Krax is ready for it. Ever vigilant, TP through, oh, big fight on its way. I, I thought maybe they'd wait a second for this, but instead they go diving with the showstopper, claim the spike. Crash in the next round, so they're not gonna gift that over to him, and Mr. Farland's left all on his of utility to start. But for aren't sitting back, they're gonna try and fight in towards showers instead, an early fight wins them the jewel and Yadige. Another rookie to the league. Actually challenged. Now KC are in that same boat. It's not worth committing to this play. Instead, trying to save the weapons, and thankfully they will. Give extra credits if they really wanted to fight for this, but with the majority of players... Either. No, maybe in a passive position, like sitting in lamps. Yes, you might, you might want it there. And that's it. Foot have been taking lamps a lot. That's what this wall is for. Cracks, unfortunately, a little bit of a recon beam going up in the sky as they eventually take control. They meet Shin and the spams through the smoke. Well, they've caught Cracks again. That's two in a row. He won't be rest this time because he's dropped for good. Fight back from Mr. Fall and gets one. It's a deterrent, allowing him to get back into position. And then it's going to be held for the late round. I don't mind the idea, the push. It is bold from out of captain. Trying to get into a position to catch them off guard, but they are moving as a unit, as always with the KC boys. They move as four. That the Seekers go deep enough that it looks like they're building up around that A site. They, they were back towards mid. They were holding, so they gambled on the KC side and foot. They basically gambled that they would do that. A smart way to play with those rotations. Out of captain, this fight could be everything. It's definitely a little bit more awkward. He dodges the flash, and the shots eventually connect. It feel like Magnum probably could have had him once or twice there. Now, though, Foot just starting to dominate, leaving Shin alone. And Andalusia flawless is how they bounce back into this one. And, well, I don't think this team's ever going to run out That's again. Right. Well, out of captain, hit all five with paranoia, but not with his ability. Now, though, they've realized where he is as he steps into the fight. All right. Well, he was looking at heaven. He should have been looking at the walkout. Three kills coming back from Casey. It's winnable yet again. They're not letting go of... Around the side, he could look for a spam. The spike's being tapped. He wants to move in to see him. And it all comes down to timing, which is near perfect for CNED. Now they wait out the decay. No, they don't. Yedige just swings. Fair enough. 11 to 11 on the line. Martin, I saw he, he had an op earlier, but he's given it over to Narrate instead of playing a closer angle, and Ooh, that's why okay. two quick kills and the third from Shin. KC. Their opponents will be waiting. Oh no, this is going to be commitment. Wall saved, perhaps for the spawn, but they have to fight for it first. Shin's in their way, and he's going nowhere. Three quick kills. He's covering him, but Shin was spotted and spammed out, so he'll give up that control. And the A site under a lot of threat. Mosh might buy some time, but another thrash to go through. This time, Mr. Fallen falls, and then the shot connected by Narrate. Pulls the thrash out as the defenders now throw theirs. He's able to provide some support, but. Well, actually, not the death ball. Split into two two-man squads this time for KC, Ooh. and that could be a mistake. Tamazi able to double up, though. And that round is already sealed. Cena solo tucked in the corner. KC deal with him and find the defuse with plenty of time to spare. 13 to 11 on map number one. Small tap from a ghost through the smoke. The retake attempt from KC, somewhere they've been fantastic, is actually being disrupted. Yedijay's in the corner, unspotted and able to find so much value. Reloading even. And he had a chance with another half second to pop off a few more shots in the rain. Shut him down in time, but he'd already done so much damage now. Foot have the advantage to play with the numbers there, and you can see it in the gunfights. Too many classics awaiting them. That's a yeah. round before. 
It's being watched this time, and they're ready for this push to come through. Two players on the site. Magnum might be giving away that he's on his own, but Tamazi's now, well, actually dropped. It's split from both sides. And no Playing aggressively, eh, if they're challenged too much, falling straight back into a seaside tank. Relying on the openers. Well, Yedusha again. This guy just pulls off ridiculous kills, taking over the round on his own once more. A third already. Crossfire step, but he doesn't need any help. And finally, Shim will put him down in the back. You almost wonder where his teammates were there. <laughs> like, guys, I've killed everyone. Could you could you watch my flank, please? But they will now look to close it, Shin. This time we're not switching off him, but it will still be the to rotate back. They're still up against this many players. There's a poison orb waiting for them. And presumably, a snake fight. All right, out of captain just fights them ahead of it. And, and uh, screw the utility. Let's just take the duels. Why not? They're winning all of them. Only one player dropped. Cracks on one HP, but uh, well, he's way, uh, intended or not. And now to fight back through this, they are in a lot of trouble. I mean, that flank is barely going to matter because those players could come out the back of the Viper's pit and instead actually got Mr. Fallen spotting Tamazi, slowing down the Rethic, splitting these players up and making it even easier to deal with them. The decay running it down. Oh, well, <laughs> Shin, I don't know if he got the comms on where Mr. Fallen was, but uh, oh, that was a little awkward. Yeah, I did. It. it has worked out wonderfully for foot once again. I did this time even having the res to got them the opener. Yeah. And, and that's Martina. Martina has been wrecked this game, by the way. He has one kill and it was that kill on uh, Yellow Jade. That's it. It was leading those early duels last time, but oh, not this okay. time around. The turrets Timmy. helped out. Even oh. caught out of captain. Cracks will heal. Now they've got that information to play with. I don't know where Crax is going. He's going to be late to the party, but they've got the util to potentially delay them. They've got Tamazi, though, picking up Yedige. Now Mr. Fallen's alone, and this could start to get very scary unless Crax quickens the pace. Mr. Fallen has to hold strong in the site. It's only a matter of time. There's the peak. But Tamazi falls, and the flank comes through eventually. Foot thinking on levels we can't comprehend no. for it. But... This is a level that, that goes yeah. beyond my comprehension because KC are good at fighting. Oh, now they have a chance, okay. though. Showstopper already in, and Martin up close. Go. Cool. Cracks has already found a trade. And a captain there as well. These post plants have been sublime, but this time they managed to get into position. There is still a snake bite available. They need to do something to get in here. And actually, they might just be able to stick this one. If they can get in onto the defuse once that snake bite is gone, and a captain has to go through this. And round is over. There's nothing he can do here. KC will get it over the line as they drag things back. They, they're pinging it, aware he could be here, but with the wall going down, left. with the lockdown in play, this is forcing foot back. They might want to utilize this position. <laughs> but Mr. Fallen dies trying to claim it. Still three players from KC here. And a nightmare. The nightfall comes in, catching them all. Two at least, and the first already fallen out of captain. Out of here, 12 seconds left. Reposition from Magnum is Remaining. perfect. Sublime left. play from the side of KC, letting nothing <laughs> slip. And that's one way to close a round for Shin. Towards this A site, seeing it's wide open, but seeing even more so that the rotates are coming through. The site's being given up on C. The hole, the wall for Magnum gives him an angle. He's using it against them. The battle for Cena, though. He completely distracts them as they look for the fight on the players entering. Sight Cned's there behind, giving them a fright and leaving Narrate all alone. Three kills for the Jet in the final round and nine. And this is it. Like, when Cned has less to think about, he does a lot more because he just shoots better than 99% of the players out there. That's not, not the a right good one. Though. And yeah. actually, I think that was more. Four, four people. people. That was about Magnum hits the dig. I was about to say, a frenzy from there already. Is looking much better. Just a, an absolute blitz in towards this A site. It does. It does. And, and the pistol round isn't over yet, you know? Still got You're the right. same yeah, How about three. now? The rain. Looking like he might just close this one out. There you go, now yeah. it's over. An Andalili Thea flawless angle. You're going to have the HP of Anacapt in back up to fall as well as they look to enter into the site. They had themselves that nightfall, but already Yedige is going to put one in the dirt a second as well, even the low HP and blind it up. With so little noise being made, eventually someone's going to peek out for a little bit of information. Looks like that will come through on the defensive side and for the defensive side. Remaining. Timing almost, almost caught cracks off. But he has the entire map covered, but as we've said before, KC with a man advantage are normally pretty good. They've oh. cleared out Yedige already. As said, he's been a danger man and also got the information onto CNED. His teammate as he goes down, those numbers for KC looking strong. 
credits. Yeah. Yeah, riding a little low for foot. If they got an opening pick, they could go there. for it. And there it is, Martin. The first to be dropped. HP low on a lot of these players. They're still committing to this. I mean, that time Tom seems to be ticking away a, a little bit too quickly. And now, Mr. Fallen wants to get out of there. He's actually, they're going to be in a little bit of trouble for, for CNED. I don't necessarily mind the push. Then forced back. It looks like they might just opt to try and set up around CNED's singular rifle. He's still going strong. A second kill already in this round is starting to fall apart a little bit for KC. Cover, cover. Oh, there's definitely some struggles. The low buys of foot being so deadly. Three rifles now as they set their sights on the side itself. KC very much fragmented. There's an initial duel on Nare, unable to trade to slow it, kept them in position. And now all hope lies with Martin. Showstopper in, and it's caught a kill. The ace with the nade, the shorty, in fact, to find it. Martin was quiet, but now he's woken back up just in time. The idea here, hopefully, Tamazi can pick them up as they move into position. The rotates out of the A site being watched, and he's turned at the wrong moment. That timing is abysmal. Beautiful flank. Everything comes down to timing for him with a player coming behind. It's only a matter of time until he turns, oh, but never unlucky. mind. Yedeje wins the fight anyways, and will spam through <laughs> under the rate. It's eight. Shin left alone. Looks like this one is already in the bag with an 11 to 8 scoreline. We could even ask the question of how much damage can he do, but the answer to that is zero. Yeah, and Andalucia flawless, still wary that this is a ruse, and CNED was trying to just hit the shot. We'll be detained, but they're not going to mind too much, especially without Spike a captain down. doing that. And they thought they had a way into the site. It works. Of course it does. This is foot we're talking about. Five versus three, five HP on Martin. Oh, no. He's out, and it looks Spike like just down. Tamazi, the last man standing in the last tilt. Up next, if foot secure a 13 to eight, and my, what a map that will be. 20 seconds left and an op staring down at him. It's a round and map win for a foot. 13 to eight. And KC have been pretty good at getting back into sights. Limited utility as they make their way back through. It's a pistol round after all. And maybe foot can just run down that clock. As KC tap the spike, someone needs to swing to check. It's not being stuck, and it comes at the cost of their life each time. Halfway already, and now they all look to duel on the side of KC, knowing that out of captain's the last alive. The snake fight will soon fade, as out of captain's life force does too. What is spawn? Cracks, however, has been hit. You mentioned that outlaw. He's on 10 HP. Oh, yeah, I mean, anything is going to take him down now. We need to see the fights come through, though. CNET onto Tamazi. It's a clean trade, but KC are closing the distance. That's all they want. That's an ambitious peak. The idea being that Magnum could trade. He got one, but no follow-up on it. And the shots landing make it ever more difficult for KC to find any value with Shin on one HP. It's a quick and clean follow-up. Problematic. There is a cam watching, which will be immediately destroyed. And now the pressure is in on that B-side once again. Still a trap on site for Tamazi, but how's he getting out of this one? Hunted down by Mr. Fallen. But the kills have come in across the board. Yereje and CNET have been lost. Big players for the side of foot. Now another hero has to step up, Spike and they better step up B. quickly. The spike's Last been dropped in the open, and now it's fully secured by KC. Four versus one. Mr. Fallen would be one hell of a clutch with the outlaw. Be one for the books. He won't land even the first. Yeah, now right, it was 100. They don't want to let him out of here alive this time. It's out of captain that might have the chance to... Oh, no, never mind. The dash in from Cena. He's going in with an op in hand on the close range angles. The blade storm from Martins grabbing something, but now right, down to the op as Cena doubles up and gets a little ambitious. One enemy well, remaining. Captain in the corner. CNED will close it as well. And seconds left on this clock. Draw. A close position as well from Magnum. 30 seconds left. It just has to be a fight here. Uh, even if you get the first, there's backup. Not just in Martin. Even if you get him, there's backup because Shin's here too. Take Spam gets Magnum. Drone eventually starting to run down. And not much of a reveal here. Martin. Left. Eight seconds, he just needs to deny this and he'll go for it. A kill quickly Five found, a shot from CNET. Might keep them back for a moment. Put some hesitation into play for these defenders until he's dropped. Great shot by Tamazi on the flank. In a lot of these rounds instead now, again, the pressure comes on to the young man from Portugal trying to hold the backside and it's close, but no cigar. In fact, they're all dropping like flies. Narei tries to get back in and help, but he's a little bit late. Cena may go down to a shot, don't know. It's instead going to bounce onto Cracks, who's taking a lot of damage. And actually, with Magnum finding another, if this kill goes oh. the other way, this is starting to fall apart. 
37 and 11 HP Tom. Two players extremely low and both are the ones on site, isolated by this Viper wall. Magnum, he snuck around up close, but the shot is found too quickly and the flank from Yedige locks in the win. Thrown in immediately. <laughs> Martin's like, right, this time they're not mid, I'm telling you. And well, I'm sure Narei probably agrees. Hunter's Fury is going to help out massively. They're trying to use these ults to pad the gap, but Cena has now popped one of his own. He realized what's going on a little bit earlier than anyone else. Oh, that flash is perfect, Martin. He had no chance with the pop from Krax. Krax's utility is just out of this world. You see why we talk about this guy on a KO. He might have lost his life here, but the trades make it worthwhile. Leaving only Tomasi. Oh, they give up one by one. Red Bull clutch as Carmine Corp. But they still have managed to get that plant in. Shock darts still available. Magnum, I don't know where he's going to get to use them. And instead, Anna Captain now splitting him from the back line. It's going to make things just that little bit worse. Even still, though, Casey are clinging to life. The fight back not going to happen as Yedige comes through. And now Shin left in a clutch. Sitting around with the information to work with. He's still around here. As the recon gets destroyed, the wall cutting it up only beckons them forward. Double peek through it for six to six. If you choreographed it, they are slipping right behind them. Will they see them? No, there's an orb up. It's dropped, and there you go. Oh, out of the open for Cena. Easy pickings with three quick kills. This round seems to be done and dusted. I swear to God, no one else's ghost works like that. Like, it, normally you'd see someone spam 15 bullets at the back of their head. See that though, it just doesn't, it doesn't miss at all. This is why you want to see this man on jet. That's going to keep three players here. That single piece of utility, Cloudburst used, Dash heard, and two players spotted with the knife. Huge information, but okay. capitalizing on it is something else entirely. Evidently, foot have been shut. Just slowly encroaching. Doesn't have any utility to close the gap. And well, you can see that Nure, the reason he's fighting is because he wants to get that off. Site was very successful for Foot on their attack. They had a lot of ideas for how to get through there. You never really saw the impact you needed to coming out of Yedige, but the traps are still online. Yedige is on the other side of the map, so as they walk through, they still haven't realized, still haven't walked right into them. And when they do, that's the chance for Ada Captain to show up. Almost extends it a little bit further. Spams. Look to come through the wall, Nerei trying to play a cheeky angle, and it has worked out. Even still, though, and a captain there again for the trade. The flash solid, but Magnum not quite able to capitalize, and add a captain. Beautiful. We've seen an explosive first round out. Almost last round, so if they're, if they're not expecting it, you'd have to almost be a little bit foolish. Seen it? Not able to connect that initial shot. Now Boys they'll definitely course. know. I don't know where Shin has just died from. A straight up wall bang from Mr. Fallen. And they are now falling like flies. Every single member of KC an attempted fight back. And Martin, he was meant to be. Of things stacking up against KC. It's sublime. Nice They're going to take away the rest of his utility. The flash will help him out a little bit. And a captain definitely under pressure. But Cena is just watching from behind. They're finally going to get towards him. Finally going to clear him out. But there's so many more players here that they have to deal with. 20 seconds left. Shin will put another One on the death toll. But Mr. Farland was just hiding at the back of the site. He was waiting for his moment. And because of that foot. Like, literally a pistol on one of the players. Now straight away, they are going to be able to take the util off this time. Cena hasn't been needing to use much of it. And the Hunter's Fury definitely helping out, giving Yedige the extra space to just dominate. 